as you might see from my new video and future videos, no longer in the hood. But this video today is about the cabinets that I just ordered. These are the, well, let me first say, I ordered the Craftsman cabinets. And just like most people said on the internet, they came damaged. If I can, I'll insert some pictures of the dents. I ordered these off of uh, Sam's Club, off their website. And uh, the package pretty good. I don't know how they, uh, <clears throat> I don't know how they're gonna come out, but they look like they package pretty well. Those are the panels. They're supposed to be seven foot tall when it's together. I'll let you guys know how it comes out. I'll add it to this this clip here. Just wanted to give a, a preview before it's in pieces and before it's together, I should say. If you're messing with bikes, highly recommend these dollies. You know, no we're dragging your bike sideways across the along its tires and scuffing up the floor. You put it on a dolly and it just rolls around so nice and easy. But anyway, this video is about the cabinets. I just wanted to let you guys see how they, they come. That's the model number of the cabinets. This is what they're supposed to look like. It's supposed to be like six feet tall. And uh, that's it. Just want to piece one and to just introduce the shop, the new Bat Cave. Okay, this is about two weeks after uh, the first clip, first portion of this video. Uh, the boxes, as you saw, the cabinets were in boxes. I put them together. They came in perfect, almost near perfect condition. All the faces are in really, really good condition. The panels that run across the back, they're like a couple of sheets to go like that. Some of them had little minor bends on the edges. Look at that. You can see that they're in really good shape. You do a really good job packaging these things. So these came out pretty nice. And uh, there's a lot of space, of course. The workbench just came in today. This is the way they come packaged. Very similar to the other, other um, standing cabinets. And I'll continue this after I put it together. Or if I come across a problem, I'll throw it in. Okay, I, um, I was gonna just show the video when it's done, but there are a couple of couple of pieces that are damaged. I, I try to straighten this out a little bit here. You can see that um, you know, I was dented and the powder coating came off. So I think overall I'm gonna be able to work through it and it's probably not even gonna be an issue, but just something to keep in mind. Maybe a uh, nail polish. I wouldn't say spray because you don't wanna spray this whole damn thing and make a mess. But um, you don't wanna leave this, you know, down the road this is gonna be your first rust spot. I don't know if you can see that powder coating is chipped right off because of the bend. And there was a, another piece, actually, let me see. And pretty minor, there's one of these bolts, I think this corner here was a little, this corner here like that was bent out a little bit. Minor stuff, you know, the pretty stuff is, um, is looking good. These little, you know, did one drawer already. Um, the other drawer fronts, which is, you know, what everybody's going to see anyway. That's what really, uh, they all look pretty good. But just keep in mind, maybe uh, get some nail polish or like a touch-up paint. And maybe try and remember where you, where the um, chipped clear coat is. So you could touch it up maybe somewhere down the road soon before it starts turning into rust. So just something to keep in mind. <clears throat> but it's pretty easy. It's going going together. I don't know. I don't know what time it is, but it took a long while. I got it at two o'clock. I don't know what time it is now. I'll let you know at the end how long it took me. But um, it is pretty easy. It's just a lot of little steps involved. So, but just something I wanted to throw in there during the process to let you know. All right, there it is all together. I didn't put it in place yet. I just want to show it because I'm running out of battery. I have my music playing the whole time. It took me about three hours, considering cigarette breaks and whatnot. Um, if you notice, they don't line up perfect, but it's not on a flat surface right now. So 
I can't um, complain about that yet. Um, all the drawer fronts, as I was telling you before, they're all like pretty damn good. I don't see really any like dents on, on the drawer fronts. There were some inside the drawers and in the framework or whatever. Oh, it also came with this um, mat, these mats so you can help keep your tools from sliding around and stuff. And the wood top, pretty nice. Actually, scratch to the while I was putting it together. But anyway, so that's that's the set right there. That's the bench. This is the 12 drawer, I believe it is. 12 drawer bench. It's pretty nice. You got the uh, little corners there and bumpers on the bottom. And this is like the polished. This handle here is polished. I haven't even taken that off yet. But that's what she looks like. Only thing I would advise is when you're putting the frame together, when you're putting this frame together, you have it upside down, which is for one of the uh, couple of first few steps. Leave things loose, you know, just hand uh, hand tight until um, you have like the front, I think it was the front back, basically the front back, left and right side goes onto the, uh, the tabletop in an upside down position. Once you have all of those on, then tighten it because it became a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, there's like little slots in there for the drawers and it became a bit of a nightmare trying to readjust everything to get it more square. But other than that, it was pretty easy. There's a lot of little steps, so be patient. If it feels like you're taking too long, you know, don't worry about it. You're on the right track. Well, it still looks like it's supposed to doing good it has pegboard on the sides another handle what it, and one thing I didn't really like about it is the fact that the two wheels on this side are fixed and the other two are casters with brakes so if you wedge if I wedged it into this corner here where I was planning to put it it'd be a bit of a pain in the ass to get it out of there and get it back in it would have been nice if they were all casters but it is what it is so that's gonna go there that's gonna go let me see how these look all these little tools and stuff are gonna end up going now into, into the cabin, to the bench. Get me a little uh, tabletop vice clamp, table clamp, whatever you call it. And that's probably gonna be it for now. If you saw this and uh, you're into bikes, this bike, the Hayabusa, is having some kind of electrical problem, which a lot of people are having. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a video on the progress the work that I've done in the, I have already some of the work that I've done already on video on YouTube and um, whatever else I do to it to finally get it running is also going to be on YouTube. This is a 2002 Honda Shadow that's been sitting for a couple of years so I'm going to be flushing the tank out and cleaning out the carburetors. I also got to change the wheel bearings. I'm going to put all that stuff on video. Stay tuned for that. This bike is a 1996 RF 900. I did some work to it. I think I'm gonna have to clean the carburetors, flush the tank again. Oh, I'm gonna have to flush the tank and the carburetors on that too as well, if I didn't mention it. Flush the tank, clean the carburetors on that, and I think maybe one of the coils is bad, but that's another mission. All that stuff is gonna be on video, so if you're into messing with bikes, or you're thinking about rebuilding your old neighbor's bike somebody was thinking about throwing away, check it out, and uh, subscribe and see, uh, Watch my videos. Check it out. Nicey nice.